Hi guys and welcome to another Divi theme tutorial. This is Jamie from System22 and webdesignandtechtips.com. We've been putting together this little product sales page. It's a sales funnel type page that takes you down the page showing you things about the actual product itself. And eventually you get to some pricing tables where you can go ahead and buy the product. Now in our last video, we customized our product page so it looks more like the rest of our site. Now what we need to do is actually, if I go to the cart, we need to customize our cart and checkout pages so they match our site. That's really easy to do with a Divi theme. So let's get started. What I need to do is go to our theme builder. I've got it up here. If you go to your dashboard, down to Divi and go to theme builder. In our last video, we did a custom body for our products. Let's add a new template and do a custom body. Now for the checkout, if we roll down, decide what we want to affect, checkout and the cart page. Now these will be a bit more simpler than doing it for the actual product page because we're pretty much stuck with the format of the cart and checkout pages. We can yeah. just, we can just change our button colors and background colors. Let's go ahead and add a custom body. We'll build a custom body. And we'll build from scratch. And here it is, before I even put a row in here, let's make it a similar background to our last one, which was that sort of blue purple gradient. So I'm gonna go into the cog for the section. I'm gonna to go to background. I'm gonna add a gradient. You've got color, gradient, image, or video. I wanna add a gradient. I'm gonna leave the blue in there and simply put a purple in the bottom end. Great. Now, to make this work, we need to add a row, obviously. And inside, we want the contents of the cart and the checkout page. Now to do that, we want to go down to post content, which will show the content of the actual page we're on. Now the only real things I want to do here is change the text. I want to make all my text light in color. So let's go in there. We'll go to our design. Go down, and I'm going to make it white. And as you see, it's going to disappear for here. Now we need to do this for our headings as well. So let's go into our headings. We'll go down a little bit, just below the regular text. H1, we're on at the moment. Again, I want to make it white. You'll see it disappear. I also want to make it semi-bold. So I'm going to make it regular, semi-bold. Now to save going through and doing all of these, I'm going to right click and hit copy heading H1 stars. And I'm going to go to two, paste, three, paste, four, paste, five, paste. This way we've covered all the bases and six paste. So we're pretty much good to go there. Let's just save and we'll save once saved. Exit out, make sure our page changes are saved. Okay, here's our original cart. When I update, it should change everything for us. Now we'll need to tweak a few things, but I'll show you how to do that. There we go, we've got that nice gradiated background there. We've got uh, our white text here, our buttons we're gonna to need to change, and our links we're gonna to need to change right there. And this is all in our customizer. This is the default setup at the moment. So let's go in there and we can change these quite easily. I think I'm happy with leaving those links like that, but let's go and change it. So I'm back in our dashboard. Let's go down to Divi. This time we'll go to our theme customizer. And once loaded, let's go down to our buttons and button style, text color. I want that to be white. That's great. Background color. I'm going to have that as purple. 
When you put your background color in, make sure the opacity slider is all the way up so it's a nice solid full color or whatever it is you want. I'm not going to have a border, so I'm going to take the border width down to zero. So don't need to worry about border colors or color or radius. It's going to have a slight curve there. So I don't want to change anything else. Let's go back and set the hover style. Again, I want the text color to be white. Background color this time, I'm going to make blue. And I'm not going to set a border color because we just don't need one. Again, I'm going to take that opacity up so this color is nice full blue. So we'll publish that. The only other thing that we really needed to do when I apply, it'll apply that to these buttons here are these links right here. So let's take care of those. If we go back, we'll go back to our root here. Now let's go into our general settings, go into our typography, and here we've got our body link color. I'm going to change that to white. Let's publish this and we'll go back to our cart page and that should have taken care of those updates for us. Let's refresh the page now. There we go, we've got our purple buttons there that turn to blue when we hover over them. Our links are now white. Update cart, if I change that to two, that becomes active. Let's go ahead and proceed to checkout and see what it's done to the checkout page. And there we go, we've got our checkout page also with our color scheme that we selected. So that is how to customize the cart and checkout pages. So I hope you've enjoyed that and found it useful. If you have, please ring the bell, give it a thumbs up, comment, share and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Once again, this has been Jamie from System22 and webdesignandtechtips.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.